Hello, Reject Nation. Greg Alba here. John. Honest trailers for one of my favorite movies of the year thus far. Probably be in my top 10 by the end of the year. Oh, yeah. Black Panther people. <laughs> yes. I'm excited to see what they say. I'm excited to see what they have to say. Before we do that, patron of the day shout out for Diego Shydez. This good looking SOB is uh, graduating high school. He might have already graduated at this point, actually. I forget how high school years work. Anyway, Diego, I hope you go off to a good college. I hear it's not a waste of money or time. I hear everyone who gets a degree lands a really good job, so you have a great career ahead of you. Don't injure yourself during all the jujitsu you do. And also, congratulations on landing a hot-ass girlfriend. I could care less about her personality. What matters is she's hot, and that's all that counts. Am I allowed to say she's hot? I think they're both 18. You know, why Why not just chance it? Because, uh, you know, there are states where the legal age is 17. Call me by your name. Anyway, Diego, we love you and can't wait to talk with you on a Google Hangout again this weekend, buddy. Mwah. Let's watch this honest trailer for Black Panther. Hooray! John Bailey. Uh, How you doing, John? Now you're watching. After 17 movies, the MCU finally went black. Putting out <laughs> a black crew, black cast superhero movie that's one of the best ever released. Leaving its haters with only one option. Watching every other MCU movie ever made. <sighs> black Panther. Just when you thought Chadwick Boseman had called dibs on every black icon, suiting <laughs> up as Black Panther, a superhero with a high-tech suit of Iron Man, the all-natural steroids of Captain America, and the invisible jet of Wonder Woman. But one thing sets him apart from all the other MCU heroes. Not because he's black. Not because he's royalty. Nope, it's because this Marvel hero just won't quip. Uh, people are shooting at me. <laughs> Let me put on my helmet. Enough. He froze. Uh, we will not <laughs> help you. Did he freeze? Like an antelope in headlights. <laughs> are you finished? Well, his dad just died <laughs> and didn't even crack a joke. I thought you had to be a smart ass to save the world. That's <laughs> off, bro. Journey to Wakanda, a combination of the Jetsons and a 1990s jet magazine. <laughs> the source of all the world's vibranium, a material so powerful, it tops Tony Stark's tech and Doctor Strange's magic as the BS that can do whatever the script needs <laughs> to do. Yep, 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 vibranium yep. It's cool strength? though. There's vibranium all around us. So cool. That's how I heal you. This secret kingdom has been hidden for centuries, thanks to an ironclad policy of asking people not to say anything. You speak nothing of this day. But after <laughs> sending out the slave trade, brutal dictators, two world wars, multiple alien invasions, <laughs> and a sentient AI using stolen vibranium to destroy the earth, they're finally ready to get involved in Bay Area real estate. <laughs> I bought this building. I know that's a building. That one over there. Kidding steps, you guys. After taking 18 movies to get six quality villains, cry. <laughs> it's just three movies to cut it back to two, oh, maybe one. But for one huh. shining moment, we had Claw, Andy Serkis's joyous portrayal of a guy who doesn't have to wear a mocap suit. <laughs> and Killmonger, Michael B. My Jordan's favorite. Michael Jordan of Marvel villains. Hey, Auntie. He's the buffest Michael dude to ever Michael graduate Jordan. from MIT who's ribbed for your pleasure. Damn. And who actually wins the moral argument and changes the hero's mind. Where was Wakanda? All of you are wrong! To turn your backs on the rest of the world! So wait, Killmonger was right? I am not used to this much nuance in my Marvel villains. <laughs> I'm joking on lady so I know who to root for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> While the boys are at play, it's the women of Black Panther who yeah. do all the work. <laughs> like Okoye, literal snatcher of wigs. Ha 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 ha. Expert in weaponized memes. What are those? Angela Bassett as herself. And Nakia, who after all the debate between T'Challa and Killmonger, was making the same case all along and never got the credit for it. Wakanda is strong enough to help others and protect ourselves at the same time. Also, she saved the royal family. <laughs> also, she saved the future of the Black Panther. Wow, I am not used to this much agency in my Marvel love interest. <laughs> I know who the heroes are. <laughs> 
also enjoy this movie with great acting. You must write these wrongs. A great story, great themes, and great cultural significance that almost let you forget the underdeveloped love stories. You kill me, my love. The yeah, terrible the way CGI, it seems good. Or the big forgettable third act brouhaha. <laughs> I like that third act. In other words, it's a Marvel movie. Starry. Cool. The superhero formerly known as Prince. <laughs> oh, there's Wallace. Lupita, you're so fun, you're so fun, you blow my mind. Lupita. Lupita. Fear the shaving head. Bill Bo <laughs> Watson. Token Token White Guy's joke. The best Disney princess. War Dog Wave the Samurai. Buster Bluth. Got out. I got train out. down in Africa. And the Arsenio Hall Show. <laughs> the Aristocat. <laughs> you know, his heart's in the right place, but maybe don't let Everett Ross keep any guys with one arm in custody. Got to it too. <laughs> any line from Infinity War that you haven't said yet. The only thing a flat earther fears, a sphere itself. Thanos and Darkseid are stepbrothers. Hey. Every beholder thinks it is the epitome of beholder kind, and the only thing it fears is that it might be wrong. No. <laughs> no. Really well done. Really well done stuff. Another one of those honest trailers where you have to nitpick because there's not really major flaws you can really harp on with this yeah. movie, you know? <laughs> you just point out all the things about it in a comedic way. Yeah. I felt like a lot of this honest trailer was actually dedicated to a lot of what led up to this movie. The context outside of the film itself, the yeah. other MCU films. The contrast between this and the 17 films that came before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I thought that was kind of neat that they had to kind of focus on that for like the first half of this honest trailer on well, that whole quip about it's taking like 18 movies to get six, six villains, villains. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then it kind of narrows it down to just a couple in the end yeah i think there's like more than just one moment that shows eric killmonger is essentially a bad guy i mean when he shoots his girlfriend he does enough terrible he, he, things he, 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 he does enough it. bad guy things i love that line about andy circus not playing a guy in a mocap suit. <laughs> yeah <laughs> like they made it like that was the whole big deal was he wasn't in a mocap suit i still wish they kept them around in some way although it's a good plot point for the movie. Yeah, I gave it weight. I, I loved Claude, though. And the main thing they really pointed out to me that I never noticed was Nakia, Nakia and how important the right and vital the entire time. <laughs> and how, yeah, she was right the entire time. That's that's one of my favorite Honest Trailers things because like the jokes are fun and the nitpicks are all fun and everything. Yeah. But that was something when I was watching, I was going, oh yeah, that's a, that's that's a, a good great, point. great solid point, actually. Nakia yeah. was right the entire time and they never did give her the credit she deserved. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Wake yeah. up, people. <laughs> and they pointed out a couple reasonable flaws about, like, the undercooked love stories and stuff. And I can see why you might argue that some of the bloat in the final fight isn't all that memorable. But those are very small nitpicks in comparison to what this movie is and what it means. Yeah. And all the things it was able to accomplish aside from that. Sometimes when you get to these finales in the Marvel films, you're like, oh, yeah, they're doing the checklist of what you got to do. Oh, yeah, the big fight. That's right. I still felt there was a high level of intensity both times I've seen this film, and I really enjoyed it. It. Yeah. Also, they talk about the Okoye and uh, Daniel Kaluuya. <laughs> yeah, name right now. Yeah. Yeah. I pointed out that I thought they had an underdeveloped relationship, but I did a reaction to the deleted scene of JTE from Screen Junkies, actually. I thought that if they did have that scene, it would have made their whole love story a lot more fleshed out. And uh, yeah, there'd probably be a, a lot scene. less complaints <laughs> about that underdevelopment. It just didn't fit with the movie at the time. Well, yeah, and they've dropped a number of deleted scenes now, and I get the sense that there was probably just a lot that they couldn't fit into this. Oh, yeah. So I wonder it's if some of these... Yeah. yeah, totally. With so fully I... realized characters all around. You know? yeah. yeah, and so that makes me just wonder how many things there are to complain about that maybe just got cut down. Yeah. You know, that were there before. Totally, totally. There's stuff about Everett Ross with the one-armed villain getting captured. I didn't even think about that either. Yeah. Sure, the last time we saw him, he had a one-armed villain that just got away and it slipped under his fingers again. He needs just a regular guy <laughs> yeah. to start with, and then we can move him up to the more specialized villain. And they called Shuri a Disney princess? Is she going to be considered a 
officially a part of that? I guess. As I thought I, it could just be a, yeah. a joke about Disney and Marvel. I don't know. Is that like, is there wiggle room for that? Do, will they allow that? Do, that would be cool. I <laughs> yeah. don't know truthfully, but I mean, I get it. She is, in a sense, a princess in the Disney umbrella. Yeah. So technically, I would argue that she would count. And I mean, what a badass princess. That would so, be a badass yeah. princess. And she's not an obvious princess, too. It's like, you kind of have to check yourself again and go, oh, yeah, she is a princess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, and I love the ribbing about vibranium being just the magic anything that applies <laughs> yeah. to this device. You know? It's fake, so we can just do whatever so we does have everything. to. Whatever the plot requires at the time, just let it happen. <laughs> and I guess the last thing, too, is about how T'Challa wouldn't quit. <laughs> All right, yeah. He doesn't lay down one punchline, I don't think. I never quite noticed myself, actually. You know, sh shown restraint, that's a kingly yeah. way to be. He's regal, more though. the more serious character. Yeah, yeah, he's very kingly and regal. And yeah. uh, he's not just going to lay down a punchline. There's moments of humor that he has. There are definitely yeah. parts where he makes you laugh, but he doesn't have the, the quippy dialogue like all the other Marvel heroes. It might have been a specific choice, too, to help him stand out just a little bit more. Yeah. To not quip. I think <laughs> yeah. that would lead to a certain amount of monotony after a while if just every character's got the jokes. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, when they all get together, you also need to have foils. You can't just have everybody be the cocky right, you know, Han right. Solo type. <laughs> well, that was fun. That was a fun, honest trailer. Thank you guys for doing this, man. Good job, John Bailey. Good job in the voice. The writers are honest trailers. Good job, guys. Yeah. Hey, you guys can subscribe to the Reject Nation. Click that notification bell to get notified when one of our vids is up. And uh, you can check us out on Patreon. Full-length TV show reactions, weekly Q&As, music videos, a whole bunch of goodies over there. We'd love to have you become a patron eject to die.